Dear brothers and sisters, today, I would like to share with you an extraordinary story of faith that has touched members of the church, scholars, and scientists from all over the world. It is the story of Teresa Newman, a woman who lived for 36 years solely on consecrated hosts. This account even troubled Adolf Hitler, demonstrating the power of faith and the mystery of divine providence. Before we proceed, I warmly invite you to subscribe to our channel and become part of our community of faith and prayer. Theresa Newman was born in 1898 in a small town in Bavaria, Germany. Her parents were humble people, her father was a poor tailor, and her mother was a peasant. Raised in a deeply Christian family, Teresa was a joyful, lively person who loved innocent pranks. She never took herself too seriously and faced life with joy. Her day began early at dawn with prayer, followed by intense work in the fields and at home. Teresa was practical, down-to-earth, and without frills. On Sundays, she fervently participated in Mass and received Holy Communion. Despite her reserved nature, she was a dear friend to all who had the fortune of knowing her. At the age of 20, while trying to help neighbors in distress due to a fire that had struck their home, Teresa suffered a severe spinal injury. She initially lost the use of her legs and later, due to a fall from her chair, became completely blind. During this time, her father was called to fight in World War I on the Western Front against the French. Upon his return, he brought her an image of a young Carmelite named Teresa of the Child Jesus. From the Lisieux Monastery in France, Teresa Newman began praying intensely to this saint, and on April 29, 1923, the same day that Pope Pius beatified the young French nun, Teresa Newman, lying on her bed, suddenly regained her sight. Two years later, on May 17, 1925, as Pope Pius declared the Carmelite of Lisieux a saint, Teresa Newman was miraculously healed from paralysis and could walk again. This event filled Teresa's heart with joy and gratitude towards God, and she continued her life as a strong and hard-working peasant, blessing the Lord in every moment. Her faith grew even stronger and more loving towards God. In 1926, one year after her miraculous healing from paralysis and blindness, Teresa Newman experienced an extraordinary event during Holy Thursday. During states of deep ecstasy, stigmata, the marks of Jesus' passion, appeared on her body. These marks, received in a state of profound spiritual connection, remained visible until Friday evening and then disappeared completely by Sunday morning. This extraordinary phenomenon lasted for 36 years until the day of her death. During the states of ecstasy, Teresa also displayed the ability to speak foreign languages she had never studied. According to credible testimonies, she spoke fluent Latin, ancient Greek, and Aramaic, quoting not only biblical passages but also expressing original thoughts and concepts. From 1926 onwards, Teresa categorically refused any food and drink, limiting herself to consuming only the consecrated host that was brought to her every morning at 6 o'clock by a priest. This act of complete dependence on the Eucharist became the foundation of her extraordinary spiritual life. The news of Teresa Newman's life spread rapidly, arousing interest and curiosity, but also skepticism. The Diocese of Regensburg, concerned that it might all be a staged performance, established a scientific committee led by a psychiatrist and a physician to carefully study the case. The scholars closely observed the mystic for 15 days, documenting every detail and phenomenon. At the end of the observation period, they issued a statement declaring, despite rigorous monitoring, it was not possible to observe even once that Teresa Newman, who was never alone for a single second, consumed anything other than the consecrated host. Other committees, composed of non-believers, arrived at the same conclusion, confirming the authenticity of this extraordinary mystical experience. In 1928, Pope Pius sent Father Agostino Gemelli to meet Teresa Newman and personally verify the truthfulness of her story. After a thorough visit and deep reflection, Father Gemelli confidently declared that Teresa's condition could not be explained scientifically and that there were no signs of hysteria or deceit. His testimony further strengthened the credibility of this extraordinary woman of faith. During those same years, Nazism was rising in Germany. But despite her opposition to the regime, Teresa and her family did not suffer particular attacks. Teresa's ration card, which allowed her to receive daily food rations, 
was only revoked since she didn't need them, and she was granted a double ration of detergent due to the large amount of bloodstained laundry that needed to be washed because of the stigmata. Despite her devotion and her visions foretelling a terrible future for Adolf Hitler, the dictator never directly targeted Theresa Newman. It seemed that he was intimidated by her presence and prophecies, perhaps recognizing a power greater than himself. The life of Theresa Newman continued to be a mystery to many, but for those who approached her with faith and devotion, she was a source of inspiration and hope. People flocked to her seeking advice and prayers, recognizing in her an extraordinary ability to delve into the depths of other souls and read their thoughts. During her ecstasies, many witnesses claimed to have seen her levitate about 15 to 20 centimeters off the ground, remaining in a state of levitation for several minutes. These mystical phenomena surrounding Teresa's life fueled the faith and admiration of those who knew her. The story of Teresa Newman is so extraordinary that it may seem difficult to believe. However, it has been confirmed through rigorous studies, credible testimonies, and even by the bureaucracy of the Third Reich. After her death in 1962, thousands of people requested her beatification due to the numerous miracles and graces attributed to her intercession with God. In 2005, at the request of Pope John Paul II, the beatification process of Teresa Newman was initiated, recognizing her as a servant of God. Her life remains an example of unconditional faith, total dependence on the Eucharist, and love for God and neighbor. Her testimony continues to touch the hearts of those who hear her story, offering hope and tangible proof of the divine presence in our lives. Let us always remember the incredible story of Teresa Newman and the immense power of faith that can transform our lives. May her example inspire us to seek a deeper connection with God and to live authentically and filled with love for others. We can find comfort and strength in her story, knowing that even in times of difficulty, faith can sustain us and guide us along the path of life. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be part of our community of faith and prayer. God bless you all.